everyone faced challenges over this last year, and educators were not exempt from that. Many of them rose to the challenge, getting creative and motivating their students in new ways. A teacher in Accomack County made sure his students were engaged and learning. Telling her side, somebody, Elena Valoris, has more on this excellent educator. Chris Matthews says he's always liked making things. He's taken that desire to create and learn and turned it into a passion for education in a variety of fields. That passion has served his students well during a year unlike any other. Computer repair and robotics are about as hands-on as it gets. I've always been a tinkerer. I've always played around with ro robotics and computers. So how do you take that and adapt it to the pandemic? Teacher Chris Matthews says it wasn't easy. There's no comparison to being able to like put a circuit together and see it do what it's supposed to do. But he got creative using online tools. He also took 3D printers home <laughs> and found a way to give back, creating 200 of these masks. We donated a number of them to the hospital. Um, we donated a number of them to local EMS and um, we donated some to the school too for custodians when everything started happening. Now that students are back in school, they're getting hands-on experience. Their classroom becoming the main repair center for all of the district's Chromebooks. I'll give one of the computers to the kids and they'll say, you know, what do you think's wrong with it? You know, look at it. Here's, here's what they say is wrong with it and let's see what, what's really wrong with it. Uh, we think we have 38 broken screens, so it's just waiting for them to come in. <laughs> Matthews isn't just passionate about computers and robotics. He's also passionate about his school. I wanted to come back and teach at Arcadia because that was my alma mater. And um, it worked out that I was able to do that. He also loves music, which is what he started teaching, but he made the switch a few years ago. I love the idea that you can start with nothing and piece together little components to perform some task. And it's, it's, it's empowering that you can you know, create something like that from nothing. And he is looking forward to the future, creating more opportunities to learn for years to come. Matthew says there are some virtual tools like Zoom that he still plans to use after the pandemic ends. I'm Maria Lana Baloris, 10 on your side.